This is going to save you a lot of time and just help make things way more convenient for you and speed up your workflow. So don't miss it. Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to save track settings and channel presets in FL Studio 20. Yeah. So I'm going to show you exactly how it's done, exactly what it says on the tin. Very, very straightforward, very, very quick. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here. Guaranteed. Now, my question of the day is, do you use a template to make your beats in FL Studio or do you start everything from scratch like every time you make a beat? Let me know in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So this is my mixer and this is also my guitar trap beat mixing template. Link down below if you wanna grab that. But I recently got a question. Let me see if I can find this in my screenshot. I don't have a, I don't have a folder for screenshots. That's not a thing. Is that a thing that people do? I got a question the other day from Mike five who asked, is there a way to save like a chain on one individual channel without having to save the whole mix of presets? Cause he was watching my video on how to save templates. And that obviously saves the entire mix of presets. So every time I start a beat, I've got my entire mix of presets, which saves a lot of time. If you want to grab this template and have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, link down below, go to jcartaray.com forward slash guitar trap. FL. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can copy your track settings or well, I've already got a video on how you can copy your track settings and duplicate it to another track. You can watch that for that. In this one, I'm going to show you how to save your track settings. So in order to do this, you need to right click your track. You need to go to file and then go to save mixer track state or save track mixer state as let me quickly go to that again. So it's right click file save mixer track state as okay so here i can save this and i don't think this is where it's supposed to save i don't know why it's taking me here let's see if i can go to like documents <laughs> an image line an fl studio uh projects templates maybe presets Mixer presets, that's where I suggest you save this stuff in mixer presets, okay? So I'm gonna save this as main chorus guitar. Main. And the reason why you'd wanna do something like this is let's say for example, you use a template, which you should definitely do to save all your mixer stuff. So you don't have to input it one by one because that just seems like a silly way to do things and that's gonna slow down your work flow. But let's say you've got your template in there and let's say I wanted to add some vocals to this. Like this isn't my vocal template or vocal mixing template. What I could do is go to my vocal mixing template, save the track details, and then anytime I need to add vocals, I can just come over here and be like, okay, vocals need to be added. Let's actually change this by going to file and then going to, wow, it's not where it's supposed to be. Everything's supposed, oh, there it is. Main chorus guitar. I guess because I didn't save my main vocals on this PC because I had to reinstall FL Studio. But basically, yeah, you found your thing. Let's pretend this is my main vocals. You just go to file and then you find whatever you created, go to main chorus guitar. Now this has changed into main chorus guitar. It's got the exact same things, the exact same EQ as my main chorus guitar. As you can see, it looks exactly the same. It takes on the same color and whatnot. So this is good for taking elements from one template to other templates if you need to use that at a later time, but not something that you're gonna use every single time. Because if you use it every single time, then you should just save a template. But the reason why the vocal stuff is a good example is because if you're adding like auto tune and a bunch of compressors, a bunch of EQs, a bunch of vocal processing, you don't wanna load that up every time you're making a beat because that's gonna take up a lot of CPU and it's gonna make it take longer for you to load up those beats and load up that template. So it should only be used when you need to use it. That's when this feature can come in very, very well.
Now, remember, if you do want to get your beat half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, grab this template, link down below, go to jcartaray.com forward slash guitar trap FL. I do have other templates. I got my R&B trap template as well as my trap beat mixing template. So links down below as well as my Spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template. So you can check that out as well. But if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.